respected teachers and colleagues myself melvina de souza will be presenting the movie analysis this presentation is being recorded as a part of internal assessment for course 2 of pgdme department of education university of mumbai for the academic year 2023-24 i would like to inform the audience that all the clippings used in this movie analysis are being used for purely educational purposes with no intention for any commercial gains so before we start with the analysis of the movie let's watch its trailer and i want you to guess the name of the movie let's learn some of the organizational behavior concepts through this movie analysis my name is jordan belford the year i turned 26 i made 49 million dollars which really pissed me off because it was three shy of a million a week we're making a name for ourselves Nobody knows if the stock is going to go up, down, sideways, or in circles. You know what a fugazi is? No, oh, fugazi. It's a uh, fake. Hey, fugazi, fugazi. It's a wazi. It's a woozy. It's a fairy dust. I hope your guesses were right. Today we shall analyze the movie, The Wolf of Wall Street. Released in 2013, this is an American biographical black comedy crime film. The film is based on the true story of Jordan Belfort from his rise to a wealthy stockbroker. Now let us watch the first video. I want you to note the underlying concepts or themes related to organizational behavior in this video clip. some of the pointers or hints are given for example the physiological existential and growth needs let me tell you something there is no nobility in poverty I have been a rich man and I have been a poor man and I choose rich and time. Cuz at least as a rich man when I have to face my problems I show up in the back of a limo wearing a $2000 suit and a $40000 get watch. So you listen to me and you listen well. Are you behind on your credit card bills? Good, pick up the phone and start dialing. Is your landlord ready to evict you? Good. Pick up the phone and start dialing. Does your girlfriend think you're worthless loser? Good. Pick up the phone and start dialing. I want you to deal with your problems by becoming rich. The first organizational behavior concept that we would analyze is motivation. Let me define some of these terms. Intrinsic motivation is the drive to do something because it is inherently enjoyable or satisfying. In the film, Jordan Belfort tries to motivate his subordinates by reaching their full potential and by achieving personal fulfillment. Extrinsic motivation is the motivation that is driven by external rewards. This can be tangible such as money or grades. Extrinsic motivation is focused purely on outside rewards. In the movie, Jordan Belfort uses external rewards such as financial incentives, praise, recognition as a useful and effective tool for getting people to stay motivated and on task. This increases job satisfaction, performance and productivity as well as retention of workers in his company. Let us also consider some theories of motivation being applied in the movie. such as maslow's hierarchy of needs and aldefer's erg theory maslow's hierarchy of needs is a motivational theory in psychology comprising of a five tier model of human needs the five levels of hierarchy are physiological safety love belonging esteem and self actualization 
Firstly, the lower level basic needs like food, water and safety must be met before the higher needs can be fulfilled. In the movie, Belford provides motivation to meet different levels of their needs by setting the norms and providing clear expectations from the workers. Similarly, Alderfer's ERG theory is a simplification of Maslow's pyramid and identified three needs. The needs are existence, relatedness and growth. In the movie, the existential and relatedness needs are being addressed very well. But when it comes to growth needs, Jordan Belfort does not motivate the subordinates to achieve self-actualization. How will we apply the organizational behavior concept of motivation to the current job or role? In a school setting, teachers have physiological needs that must be met to perform effectively. This includes providing them fair compensation, access and healthcare benefits and creating work environments that promote physical well-being such as ergonomic furniture and adequate breaks. Ensuring physical safety at the workplace as well as job security and protection from threats such as violence or harassment. Teachers like all individuals have a need for social connection and belonging. Educational managers can support this by fostering a sense of community among the staff encouraging collaboration and teamwork. At the same time, providing opportunities for professional development and mentorship. Teachers and other staff must be recognized and respected for their expertise and contributions. By addressing the needs outlined in Maslow's hierarchy, educational managers can create supportive and empowering environments for teachers. Ultimately, enhancing their effectiveness, job satisfaction, and overall well-being. The concept of motivation has been beautifully addressed in the movie and therefore, I would give an effectiveness rating of 9 for this concept. गुड मॉर्निंग वो बिजनेस के खर्चे है छब्बीस हजार डॉलर वो अभी सलाह एक डिनर के लिए ओके okay, नहीं 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 ये मैं समझा सकता हूँ डैड हमारे साथ क्लाइंट्स गए थे क्लाइंट थे ना वहाँ पे सही का पोटर yes, हाउस yes. जो अर्जेंटीना से महंगी शैंपेन और वो वाइन हमें शैंपेन खरीदनी पड़ी और वो साइड डिश तो तूने मंगाई थी पता ना यार हाँ वो साइड डिश मंगाई हाँ? महंगी छब्बीस हजार हाँ। डॉलर की साइड डिश <laughs> क्या था उस साइड डिश में कैंसर की दवा अब बिल्कुल सही समझे उससे कैंसर क्योर होता है इसीलिए शायद वो बहुत महंगा मजाक नहीं कर रहा हूँ ये साला ईजे एंटरटेनमेंट क्या है The next organizational behavior concept that we would discuss is group dynamics. Some definitions: A formal group is a collection of persons who come together for achieving a specified goal. They are always created with an intent to fulfill some official requirement. In the movie. Jordan Belfort has a well-defined group working towards profit making for his company. Group cohesion. It refers to the bonds that link members of a social group to one another and to the group as a whole. Cohesive groups work well together and have high degrees of interpersonal trust. In the movie, Belfort's team works collaboratively towards common goals communicates effectively and resolves conflicts constructively while maintaining a unified sense of belonging. Jordan is well aware that group cohesion is a critical aspect of team dynamics and can greatly impact the productivity and success of a team.
group decision making it is also known as collaborative decision making or collective decision making it is a situation faced when individuals collectively make a choice from alternatives before them the decision is then no longer attributable to a single individual who is a member of the group this is because all the individuals and the social group processes such as social influence contribute to the outcome some of the techniques of group decision making are shown in the slide one of the technique used in the film is brainstorming brainstorming offers a free flowing structure to the discussion and allows the whole team an opportunity to share their ideas on how to approach a particular situation the main goal of brainstorming is to come up with as many suggestions as possible and then decipher which idea may be the best approach the effectiveness rating for group dynamics is displayed in the movie i would give it a 7 it is seen that most of the power is centralized with one person and a certain level of decentralization when it comes to decision making would be ideal application of group dynamics to current job firstly establish clear goals and objectives this helps teachers to align the efforts and have focused discussions promote open communication encourage open and honest communication among the teachers provide regular opportunities for the teachers to share ideas concerns and feedback foster trust and respect encourage team work and collaboration by valuing diverse perspectives and contributions encourage participation and involvement opportunities to part participate and contribute within the group settings is very important I want to I want to thank you all for your, your years of loyalty and and admiration but uh, <laughs> All of you know Kimmy Belzer, right? Yes, we do. Oh, come on, Kimmy. What you probably didn't know is Kimmy was one of the first brokers here, one of Stratton's original 20. Now most of you met Kimmy the beautiful, sophisticated woman that she is today. A woman that wears $3,000 Armani suits. <laughs> who drives a brand new Mercedes Benz? A woman who who spends her her winters in the Bahamas and her summers in the Hamptons. <laughs> That's not the Kimmy that I met. The Kimmy that I met didn't have two nickels to rub together. She was a single mom, eight-year-old son. Okay, she was 3 months behind on her rent. And when she came to me and asked me for a job, she asked for a $5,000 advance just just so she could pay her son's tuition. What I do, Kimmy? Go on, tell me. You wrote me a check for $25,000. And you know why that is? It's because I believed in you. It's because I believed in you, Kimmy. Just like I believe in each and every one of you here today. The concept to be analyzed here is organizational commitment and emotions. Organizational commitment is the individual's psychological attachment to an organization. It describes how much the team members care about their place of work and their level of dedication and job involvement. Organizational commitment can increase workplace productivity, increase team morale and enhance company's ability to reach its objectives. In the movie Kimmy despite doing well in life is still committed to Jordan Belfort's firm 
she shows her dedication and job involvement organizational citizenship behavior it refers to voluntary behavior that goes beyond what is expected of an individual employee it can include altruistic behavior like helping colleagues taking on extra tasks and organizational loyalty in the movie jordan goes out of his way to help kimmy he shows trust in her and in return kimmy has chosen to stay in the firm for so long emotions are physical and mental states variously associated with thoughts feelings behavior responses and a degree of pleasure or displeasure in the movie jordan makes kimmy remember her past and also acknowledges her growth and success by showing others how far she has come as compared to what she was when she had just joined the stratton oakmont company here the effectiveness rating is 10 on 10 application to the current job or role firstly cultivate a positive school culture teachers need to feel valued respected and appreciated recognize and celebrate their contributions communicate vision and mission by clearly communicating the school's vision mission and goals to all the members of the school they can understand how their roles will contribute to the overall success of the organization provide support and resources this includes access to curriculum materials technology tools professional development opportunities and instructional support address any barriers or challenges that may impede teachers effectiveness and job satisfaction promote autonomy and empowerment empower the teachers by giving them autonomy and decision making authority in their classrooms and professional practice encourage innovation and creativity and provide opportunities for teachers to take on leadership roles and initiatives that align with their behavior and interest as well as their strengths now it's time to watch the next video clip What's he doing? The biggest IPO in this firm. See, see, we're in a bow tie. Hi. How you doing? Good. Maybe you clean the fishbowl. I, I just, I had a minute, and I. You had a minute. And today you needed to clean the fishbowl today. I had finished my paperwork, and I was so I just had a couple minutes. Okay. Nice to meet you. A new issue day. Hey, this is what you do. Hey, everybody, listen up. This is what happened to issue day. Take your little bow tie. power and authority are two different concepts in management authority is the legal and formal right to give orders and commands and take decisions it comes from legally allotted position and is institutional and legitimate whereas power is the capacity of a person to influence the others and alter their actions beliefs and behaviors The power of a manager is considered as the ability to ask the subordinates whatever they wish them to do. In the movie, the manager uses his power to fire an employee just because he can. It was rude on his part to burst at the employee in the presence of others as well as to abuse the employee physically, verbally and emotionally as well. This is an eye opener to us as to what we as future managers should not do at our workplace difference between authority and power authority is technical and static while power is flexible and dynamic authority is delegated to an individual or group 
while power allows influence on others. Authority is legal while power is personal trait and does not have any legal sanctity. In my opinion, power and authority in the movie has been misused. Therefore, I would give an effectiveness rating of just one for this concept. Application to the current job. Administrative leadership. The school administrators such as principals and vice principals hold positions of formal authority and are responsible for making decisions that affect the entire school community. Effective leadership involves using power and authority responsibly to promote the school's mission, vision and goals. Teacher authority. Teachers hold authority within their classrooms to maintain discipline, manage student behavior and facilitate learning. They have the power to set expectations, establish routines and enforce rules to create a structured and supportive learning environment. Student leadership. Student leaders such as student council members or class representatives may be granted authority to advocate for student interests, organize school events and contribute to school governance. Parent and community involvement. While many parents may not hold formal authority, their input and support can impact decision making processes and shape the school policies and programs. Schools often seek to engage parents and community members as partners in education to leverage their expertise and resources. Now let us watch the last video for this movie analysis. I still feel the stone when I look you in your eyes. They say that I'm a rock. Maybe I just can't be close. These nights keep on taking calls. Tell me how they are on my own. I may not speak you more. You keep picking up the ball. Said like you've come on the road. Maybe I just lost control. These nights keep on taking calls. Find me out here on my own. You keep blowing up my phone. Maybe I just lost control. These nights keep on taking calls. On my own. Your profit on a mere six thousand dollar investment will be upwards of sixty thousand dollars. Personality is the last concept that we would discuss here. Definition of external appearance. It is the way that someone or something looks on the outside. Physical appearance is the outward phenotype or look of human beings. For example, Jordan Belfort is an outgoing, optimistic, fair, tall, young man and a goal-oriented person. We shall also discuss some of the personality theories such as Gordon Elport's uh, trait theory, Carl Jung's type theory, Sheldon's physiognomy theory and the big five factor theory. Let's take a look at Gordon Elport's trait theory. Gordon Elport identified thousands of personality traits and grouped them into three categories like cardinal traits, central traits and secondary traits. According to Gordon Elport's trait theory, Jordan Belfort exhibits high levels of extraversion throughout the film. He is outgoing, charismatic and sociable, thriving in social situations and easily captivating others with his charm and confidence. Thus, these are his cardinal traits. He is dominant, attention-seeking, often ruthless and manipulative. These traits dominate his personality and therefore are the central traits. His lack of ethical boundaries and disregard for rules suggest low conscientiousness in terms of integrity and responsibility. These are his secondary traits. According to Carl Jung's type theory that focuses on introvert versus extroverts, Jordan Belfort is sociable, assertive, self-assured, outgoing, full of energy and enthusiasm and displays high risk-taking behavior. Therefore, according to Carl Jung's type theory, Jordan Belfort is an extrovert. 
secondly sheldon's physiognomy theory where he focuses on body types into endomorph mesomorph and ectomorph the body type of jordan belfort is mesomorph because he is active muscular assertive and competitive the big five factor theory is often abbreviated as o c e a n o for openness belfort's openness to experience is mixed orientation type c for conscientiousness Belfort exhibits low levels of conscientiousness in terms of self discipline responsibility and adherence to rules E for extraversion Belfort demonstrates high levels of extraversion throughout the film he is outgoing assertive and energized by social interactions A for agreeableness Jordan Belfort displays low levels of agreeableness characterized by his manipulative unethical ruthless behavior and being unwilling to exploit others for his personal gain and for neuroticism belfort exhibits high levels of neuroticism this is characterized by emotional instability mood swings and impulsivity while he exudes confidence and composure in high pressure situations i would give an effectiveness rating of 7 for this organizational behavior concept application understanding students personality traits can help teachers tailor instruction to meet individual needs for example students high in openness may benefit from creative and exploratory learning experiences while those high in conscientiousness may thrive in structured and organized environments teachers can use personality assessments based on the big 5 model to gain insights into student strengths preferences and areas for growth this information can inform instructional planning grouping strategies and personalized learning approaches peer tutoring and mentoring programs pair the students with different personalities in peer tutoring or mentoring programs This allows them to support each other's learning, build empathy and develop interpersonal skills. For example, pairing an outgoing and extroverted student with a quieter and introverted student can create a supportive learning and dynamic environment. Leadership opportunities provide opportunities for students and staff to take on leadership roles based on their strengths and interests. and create students with leadership potential to lead clubs organize events or represent their peers in a student government the wolf of wall street offers a plethora of lessons in organizational behavior and management i would love to share some of the personal learning points from the movie ethics and integrity one must not have disregard for laws regulations and ethical standards the movie highlights the importance of integrity in organizational culture and detrimental effects of pursuing success at the cost of not being ethical leadership style jordan belfort exhibits a charismatic and manipulative leadership style While his charisma initially helps him to build a successful firm, his manipulative tactics and lack of regard for his employees' well-being creates a toxic work environment. This emphasizes the importance of ethical leadership and considering the long-term consequences of leadership actions. Employee motivation access focus on incentivizing employees through lavish perks. such as extra vegan parties and high salaries is not ideal while this initially motivates his employees it also fosters a culture of greed corruption and short term thinking this highlights the importance of aligning employee motivation with organizational values and long term goals lastly culture and values in an organization the culture is set by leadership and it influences the employee behavior through the movie i have realized the importance of cultivating a positive organizational culture based on ethical values transparency and accountability
I would like to acknowledge the kind support of Professor Sunita Magri Ma'am, HOD Department of Education, University of Mumbai. Special thanks to my course teacher, Ms. Sushma Nair Ma'am, for giving us this opportunity to self-reflect as well as to do a lot of learning related to organizational behavior concepts. Thank you dear audience for all your love and support.